Kicked three goals in the second half of the corresponding showdown in Clare last year. Goes long. The big hands and a big stretch. Is Jared Red take these good steps forward with his career development? The big Ruckman, 25 out, and as Red Bigland says, it's a beautiful set shot, and he steers it through. He's within 52, but it's a really tough kick because it's a big ground. It's got some big pockets. Heads up to the top of the square. Dangerous position, a big fly. Sam Gray's at the front. Little handball. Here's a chance for Tom Logan on the left. Shoots it through the middle. Tommy Logan, Port get their second. As soon as he gets back quickly, he handled it straight to Aaron Young, who goes to Jake Need. He put the Jets on Jake Need. Look at him go as he explodes toward Gal and kicks another. Another good one from Logan Austin. The umpire says downfield, but advantage paid. Not much advantage for Moore. He's good enough to get out to Sharrod. Sharrod's vision is good. The kick's got a little bit on it. And his acceleration there and handball on the body has kept this ball flowing. Jesse Palmer, just the one behind so far today from here. Point blank range, shoots it through for his first. Deep pockets are always a chance. Well, they're telling goal umpires they hit the post in the AFL Port Adelaide. Now they're almost giving away free kicks. Red and got it from Summerton. And playing around. Oh, Young gets involved again. Quickly onto the boot this time from Logan Austin. He drives it home and Logan Austin gets his first goal in the SA NFL. Tony Martin's kick was going in the direction of John Cock. There's a chance. Summerton just chips in, fires out a quick handball effectively. Long kick from Byrne Jones and good work. Little handball now and the shot is finished through. It's a beautiful looking kick. Came from Archie the handball and Paul Stewart puts it. Likewise, Cleary. Logan Austin did well in the contest as well. Sam Russell drives it out wide. Well, Summerton's had a field day here in the second quarter, finding plenty of it. And a neat pass picks out Mitch Harvey. Mitch Harvey's had just the two kicks so far. Here's the siren. Kick three in the corresponding game last year. And there's a goal kick in both games against the Crows. And he likes that off the boot after the siren. Mitch Harvey goes in a bounce as well. Then work back into trouble as if to say, I've got still plenty left in the tank. Burn Jones. Well, neat pass as he... Palmer, a couple of goals to his credit last week, unloads from 50, it's got the carry, he gets the first goal in the first... Aaron Young's kick falls well, goes now to Darcy Byrne-Jones, he's got Wilson, two speedsters in a chase, Byrne-Jones brought down, great pressure by Wilson, what about that for a hanger though, great work by little Sammy Gray. Definitely is an IGA mark of the day, Byrne-Jones with good, <laughs> clever little hands to Moore, to Sharrod, opens things up for Archie, Gets some speed, has a bounce, shoots a handball over to Mitch Harvey, curls it around the right foot, puts it through, it's a one-point ball game. Mitch Moore, it's it to Gray, off and running again, the Magpies and charging out on the lead. Mark has been taken here by Wagner. A kick from just inside the 50. Pushes it across the face. Empire did some work, but gives it both fingers, it's a goal. Now... They're behind by five points as the Maggies go forward again. Here's a chance. Little Jakey Need turns his way around Wick. Gives it off. Here's a chance to slam a goal through. They've got another one. They are on fire right now. Experience. Although he's coughed it up there straight to Mitch Harvey who finds Need. He's everywhere. Hands over more. More evidence of his lack of touch at the moment. Darcy Byrne Jones unloads and he got his first goal in SANFL. Finally, he has. If you have a first choice backup, Josh Jenkins comes back from that hip injury, and I think he would be the better option. Here's Aaron Young looking to join the goal kicking party around the body. He does just that. Into the ruck is Osborne now with Harvey. Clearance comes from Moore, the goal kicker, into space. Opportunity now for Summerton. He's first onto it. Over the top to Jake he need. Can he escape the little excitement machine? He can. Puts it on the outside of the right. To five. Since half time, Port Adelaide's way, including four to one in this quarter, and they're not done with just yet. Andrew Moore tucks it under the arm, goes to work, and they get another. So it's a pretty good day. <laughs> In board, Johan Wagner's really come into this game in the second half. Takes on Ponzi Adley. Has a bounce. Logan Austin lets fly from inside 50. And Logan Austin puts it through.